Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. I was kind of prompted to do this reading for you. Um, it is titled What Your Person Wants to Tell You. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, off camera when I um, I just want to get a general synopsis of what's going on here. Um, of what your person wants to tell you. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Star card came out. So it looks like your person wants the opportunity to um, plant another seed with you. To have another start. Give them another chance. Some of them, it could be seen they're going to come back different, changed, uh, renewed, healed. But they just want the opportunity to heal this connection with you. This person wants the opportunity to start again. You know, um, a new foundational start. Maybe they want to do something different. Maybe they don't. Maybe this person just wants the opportunity um, to come back to you. Or you come back to them. It seems as if, Aquarius, you're kind of their guiding light. You're the person that they look up to, whether they have told you or not. You're the positivity, the radiance, the light in their life. You have something to offer other than, I don't know, you fill in the blank. But this person is drawn to you. Again, you are the star card. And there's an element about you that they are not finding in anyone else. Therefore, they need your energy to thrive stay alive I don't know it's like they thrive on you they thrive on what you give what you have to give and speaking of that this card fell out of the deck when I was shuffling um someone is saying you give me a hundred percent of you I give you ten percent of me so Aquarius I don't know which dynamic you're on which signs you're on but you could be the one who is over giving who is 100% in who is serious about this connection and then you have an energy who is not serious about this connection and is not giving um, is giving very little and this could be why um, you guys broke up okay um, this could be why you ghosted this person or they ghosted you or if you left them Aquarius this person feels like you're going to come back, okay? But there is an energy of estrangement because this person is hoping, wishing, praying for your return. Maybe even drinking, getting drunk and thinking about you, fantasizing about you, thinking about the good times. This person is uh, thinking about the, the, the fun times you guys had together, how... Being with you is um, an experience and you have something to offer. It is a substance or a substance about you. I don't know. This person is um, hoping and wishing just for the opportunity to uh, come back to you, to renew this, to have reconciliation, to get back on the right path with you. But this person might be a taker, okay? Because we already see um, that somebody only gives just a little and they play a lot of games okay and maybe this is why you left Aquarius because when you were with them in the back of your mind hell in the forefront of your mind all you can think about is is this person serious are they a liar are they lying to me should I trust them and you even prayed about it and you got some answered prayers here Therefore, um, you could have ghosted this person. Definitely left. You got answers that this person is, was, still is toxic. But this person could be trying to displace the responsibility of toxicity and who is bad and what is bad on you in terms of saying, look, the toxic part is, is uh, you keep letting me come back. You know, you keep letting me back in. It's what this person could be saying. 
And there's an underlying energy where they feel like they will never let you go because they look at you as a star, okay? As a star. They could also be looking at you on some platform if you have any social media, uh, YouTube, I don't know. They're looking at you. Um, they constantly look at you. They watch you. They may even have other people watching you. The reason why this person may have given only 10% of them or put 10% in this relationship is because some of you are or were a rebound, okay? Whether you know it or not, now you do know it. The cards Aquarius want you to understand that this person is just not interested in raising their vibration. They're not interested in healing, okay? Um... They just want you to be that that hope, that guiding light, that positivity. They feel like be enough, you know, what is enough for them is just being around you. What you have to offer. Them taking it and sucking it up and maybe even giving all that goodness and that resourcefulness to another party. This person has low self-esteem is unaware of who they really are what they have to offer materialistic um they have a low vibration they're not interested in raising their vibration they also could maybe even as gone as so far as to i don't know just giving over to evil giving over to just all things bad um the silence speaks volumes to them in their life. They're, therefore, that's why they like to be in group. They like to have group relationships. They can't. They don't like one-on-one -on -one relationships. They don't. Um, they don't fancy um, stopping to smell the roses, taking some time to reflect and self-reflection. That is not what they're about, um, and it shows up in how they operate with other people because this person. Uh, they can't be alone. They'll be with anyone because being alone and being in that silent place really speaks to how deprived morally, um, yeah, just how deprived morally um, they are, just how bankrupt, how how emotionally bankrupt they are. Um, so, I don't know, you're dealing with a person who, they like who they are. And it's not on you to try to change them, Aquarius. This person could also, they, they feel like they love you, okay? I don't know what their interpretation or their definition of what love is, but this person is saying, I love you so much it scares me. They have a feeling towards you that they have for no one else. And it's because you come up in their energy or how they look at you as, you, they look at you as who you really are what you have to bring. They look at you as authentic, eccentric, um, important, smart, sophisticated, loyal, um, a humanitarian, a giver. Everything that they are not. And as I say that, I just looked at the deck. At the bottom of the deck, it says, um, I'm more spiritual than you. That's our problem. This is... Man, these cards don't lie, Aquarius. This person doesn't have a spiritual bone in their body. They don't, they're not interested in that. Okay? Um, they don't want the same things that you want. And I, I think this reading is for some of the people out here who are still holding on to hope. Hope that this person will change. Hope that they will come around. Hope that they will, they will choose the Aquarius. Imagine being chosen by this person. Imagine the ride that you're in for. Okay? Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get any more messages from, from your person, or maybe even from you, Aquarius, what you want to say to your person. Um, someone wants to say, I'm so sorry. I wasn't that focusing. Um, I'm so sorry. I was an idiot. Gotta fix that. Sorry, 
Yeah, someone could be saying, look, I'm so sorry, I was an idiot. Um, they know exactly what they did. They are sorry. They do want to apologize. They do want the opportunity to start something over with you, to grow something, to cultivate something with you. But what do they want to grow with you? What do they want to cultivate with you? You know, only time will tell. And if you're willing to take the risk, then, you know, by all means, do so. Um, and more so, you want to look at, has this person changed? Has anything shifted in this person? And what? When people come back from your past and you know that they've hurt you or it's been a turbulent situation, you can just kindly ask this person what has changed to make you want to, you know, be back with me, contact me, be in relation with me. Because if everything is the same, we will get the same outcome. That's very clear. It's very um you know, it's very clear, it's very respectful. Uh, it's something that this person can either they have the answer to. So be very wary of people coming back from your past. Um, just ask those questions. And you may even say, you know, Aquarius, nothing has changed with me. Nothing about me has changed in terms of how I look at you or this relationship. So I don't think I want to engage. Nothing has changed. Therefore, nothing will change. So um, make sure you're asking those questions. What else can we gather from the Aquarius? What else can we gather from this reading for the Aquarius? Yeah, they're missing you. Uh, missing you like crazy. Look at the, how they look at you. Definitely they're missing you. Who wouldn't miss this? It is what it is, you know? Um... If missing, if someone missing you is good enough for you, Aquarius, to where you want to go back, then by all means go back. But um, it's like you shut, you changing jobs, leaving one job, going to another. You get to your new job, you're there for a week, and then you know all of a sudden you miss the old job. But does that mean you're going back to the old job? Nope, you just miss it. So maybe some of you need to look at look at things like that. Someone is saying your friends and your family cause a lot of drama. You Aquarius could be saying this, or your person could be saying this. Um, I don't know. It seems as if maybe there, there's a group of people um, who stirred up a lot. Okay. Um, yeah. Someone could have been in someone's ear. Have could you know always always stirring the pot here. Hmm. Let's see. What's our last message here? Your friends or your family could have told you something about this person or vice versa. You told um, their family about them. Um, or, you, or this person feels like your your friends and your family always got in the way of maybe them uh, of you guys having a real relationship. Let's see. Someone is saying I'm tired of being a husband or a wife. If you're dealing with someone who is married or couple, it's the element of boredom. Okay. Um, be very weary of people coming to you out of boredom. Okay, because. That's not, it's not going to be real. You know, once they get their excitement, once again, once they get their excitement, their ego stroke, have some fun with you, then they're out. Okay. Um, let's see. What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? Wow. Just wanted to pop out of the deck. I love you. At the bottom of the deck, being with you is awesome. They can very well feel this way about you. Again, we got the element of, you know, I love you. I love you so much. It scares me. And then we have, um, I love you here. This person could really have a genuine love from you, or a genuine like from you. I just don't think they're a good person. Let's get some advice for the Aquarius. They're not good for you. 
Not right now. Maybe not ever. I don't know. Let's see. What's the advice for Aquarius? What's the advice for Aquarius? What's the advice? One more advice for the Aquarius. I just think now that you're over it, Aquarius, because I feel a real calm about you, like, like you're really calm, like you're at peace about this. Um, uh, I think this person is wanting you back. Um, now that they see that you, you're not giving, you don't care, it is over. Um, you wish them well. You're going to go the other way. You're not going to engage. This person also can't understand for the life of them. If you do have feelings for them, if you do love them, why would you be apart from them? Even if things are toxic, turbulent, crazy, chaotic, they're a part of you. I think they just don't understand you. You guys are fundamentally different. The Aquarius, the true Aquarius, can love you from afar. If the relationship isn't working, they will just leave you. Even if they do love you. And I don't think this person has that capability. Um, they thrive in drama, in chaos. And, and there are people who do that. There's six, six positive signs. And then six negative signs. Um, it's not to say that the six negative um, astrological signs are negative people. It's just saying that they can thrive. They can still survive and thrive in the midst of chaos, drama, and negativity. The six positive signs, uh, they have to be in positive vibes. And negativity will bring them to a place of um, distortion, a place of... Uh, like deterioration, um, and they both feed off of each other. Cause you're gonna, you can't be positive if you don't have negative. You can't be negative if you, if you don't have positive. So um, it's all really about, you know, this journey is really all about knowing thyself, know yourself. Therefore, you know, you're never surprised at what is to come, or how you act or react, or how another person acts or reacts. Okay. So um, let's get in. Let's get into the advice. What's the advice for the Aquarius? Advice for the, okay. Whew. No. All right. I will clarify that no answer. Um, really quickly, let's see. I I have an idea of what the no answer is. I think if this person wants to come back in, which they do, the Ace of Pentacles. And the star card coming up for what they want to tell you. They want the opportunity to renew, to restore, to heal this connection. They're not healed, but they just want to heal the connection. Also, the Ace of Pentacles talks about a new sexual encounter. This person could feel like um, if you guys, if they just have the opportunity to have sex with you again, the connection will be healed, or you'll be back in their arms. You'll be, you know, putty in their hands. And so be conscious of that also. Uh, let's see. What does this know? What's this no card for the Aquarius? No card. What's this no card for the Aquarius? What's this no card for the Aquarius? What's this no card for the Aquarius? I'm sorry that it's not. Um, yeah, it's got the moon coming out. Yeah, this person is not healed. This person has um, bipolar tendencies, uh, whether they, that's diagnosed or undiagnosed. Um, they have repressed, suppressed emotions for you, um, suppressed emotions that they have not, or repressed emotions that they have not expressed, they don't know how to express, therefore um, their life is kind of living, you know, they live in the shadows, they, they really don't engage in who they truly are, um, this person acts out of fear, they have a fear and scarcity mindset. Um, it's just a no altogether. No, because there's too much unknown with the moon here. Uh, things are not clear with this person, and they won't be clear with you because they, they're not even honest with themselves. The moon card talks about the lies that you tell yourself. Of course, other people put the lies that you tell yourself. So, um, yeah, this person wants to apologize to you. 
Um, as they have already done. I'm so sorry. I was an idiot. But it's almost as it's, it's just empty, Aquarius. It's empty. Empty words. They don't mean anything. Not to this person. Uh, their word is not their bond. They don't. It's not that deep for them. They're not serious about about this, about life in general. You know, they like where they are, and they aren't interested in healing. All right, let's see. What's the advice for Aquarius? Could be dealing with the Piscean, Cancer, uh, Aquarius. Thank you. So, Pisces coming up again. All right, let's see. What's the advice for Aquarius? What's the advice? You're ready. Yeah, Aquarius, I think you're ready for something new, something better. Um, I think you've coped, for a lot of you, you've really closed out this journey. This last run, this last stint with this person is over. I think you understand the fullness, the magnitude of the situation, of what they have to offer, what they don't have to offer. Um, I think you just need a little healing in terms of moving forward, and then you're done. Okay, this fell onto the floor. Yeah, there's the healing. Forgiveness. Forgiveness starts at home. Forgiveness starts with you. Forgive yourself for allowing yourself to even engage or re-engage with this person. Um, and then forgive the person. Whether it is you actually verbalizing um, the fact that you're, you forgive them. Or it's a quiet ceremony where you forgive them all on your own and you release the word that can be interchanged with forgiveness is release. What you're really doing is releasing this person, releasing the energy, releasing the heartbreak, this upset, the heartache, um, the headache for some of you. So, um, yeah, forgiveness here. Uh, don't let that be the stumbling block also to your success in your Aquarius because um, we don't want anything hindering us on our path, okay? Because like, unlike some people, we are trying to ascend. We are trying to be better. So, and yeah. Wow. As I said, that, I said, don't let this be the hindering to your success and then abundance comes out. You see how forgiveness comes before abundance. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. Crazy. All right, make, get in on that new moon ritual that's happening on the Lion's Gate, the 8 8 portal. I will link it below. We're going to do a forgiveness session, healing, um, well, forgiveness session, but we're also going to manifest new energy, new love, new money. Um, make sure that, and we're going to do a banishing ritual. So if you want to banish an event, feelings, a person, place, or a thing, get in on that where you can be with like minded individuals who, um, where we are manifesting corporately, okay? Wow, that's that's heavy stuff, Aquarius. Forgiveness comes before the abundance. At the bottom of the deck, a year from now, I think things will look completely different for you. A year from now. Okay, each and every time you go back to negative, toxic situation, as the cards have indicated, this person saying, you know, you keep allowing me to come back. Um, you're hindering the healing process and also the abundance, okay? So think of this every time you allow this person to come back. You are halting your abundance, your success here, okay? And you're pushing the timeline further and further out, okay? So keep that in mind, Aquarius. I don't know, that just came up in my spirit for some of you. Um... Don't let this person be the blockage for you, okay? Um, stay away, stay far away if you can. Always think of it like that. Like, if I go backwards to this person, I'm probably going to get the same thing. And then secondly, um, it's going to um, stop my, my healing forgiveness process and then definitely will hinder my abundance. So... Let's manifest healing, forgiveness, uh, newness, and let's move forward. 
get in on that new moon manifestation ritual, okay? Happening 8-8, Sunday 8-8. Uh, the link will be below. Also, you can find it on the community tab. Um, sign up. Come be a part of it, all right? So that you can um, manifest newness in. Like if you're ready for newness, you're really ready. Let's do it, all right? So Aquarius, um, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below. Get your own personal reading like this one. Ask a question or two uh, to the, you can text your question to the number below. Um, am I ready for healing? Should I forgive this person? Should I go back to this person? Whatever it is you want to ask the tarot cards, um, text your question. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.